And it's that time of the week. Pet of the week, we are joined by Wallen from our Neighborhood Pet Project. Wallen, thank you for coming as always. And we Absolutely. have a very tiny little special friend this we morning. We do, you know, it's the start of uh, kitten season. We are definitely <laughs> getting them in every day now. And so we've got some little ones that are coming in. This is um, seven week old Oliver. So he's part of a litter that was rescued um, when a family was just uh, basically handing out the kittens in Soledad. And we really encourage you, if you do find kittens or if you have kittens that your cat has had, contact a rescue group. Try to get your animal fixed so that um, they don't continue to have babies. It's, it's already an overpopulation problem. So we are willing to help to get your animals spayed and neutered. And the little Oliver here has been very just like energetic walking mm -hmm. around, but he's also been very timid. Is that usually yeah. his behavior? Well, kittens at this age are a little bit more shy. It's actually kind of nice because if they jump out of your arms, they're not going to run away. They'll probably just <laughs> freeze and realize they don't know where they're at, right? Um, another, give him another two or three weeks and he'll be dashing even though he doesn't know where he's going. He'll so, get those zoomies. Yeah, we're kind of enjoying the fact that right now, even though he's very inquisitive and very friendly and you, I don't know if you can hear it, but he's purring right now too oh, because he just loves being handled. He's got that little motor running this he morning. Does, he does, he does. And I know his sister also came with us as mm -hmm. well. Are they, are they kind of like a little pairing that they go together? Yeah, we like to keep kittens at this young age together because they learn how to play properly with each other and um, it also helps to tame their bite reflex so they don't hurt each other as they learn what it feels like to be bitten. But both of them will be available for adoption once they're spayed and neutered in the next couple of weeks. And uh, we'll probably bring Olivia on the air maybe next week or the week after. And speaking of adoption, where can they come visit Oliver and just kind of give him some pets and hear that little, mo or that little motor <laughs> running? Well, right now they're all in um, foster care because we are a home-based um, rescue. But um, if you should fill out an application form indicating that you're interested, then we'll set up a meet and greet so that you can actually have some one-on-one -on -one time with this little boy. Wish I could have a little more one-on-one -on -one time here with Oliver. Well, Wallen, thank you so much for being here. Thank yeah. you so much, Oliver. We'll have more news right after this.